And it's another step in the fight for LGBTQ rights. Earlier this week, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of protecting rights within the workplace. News 10's Jordan Kudish spoke with people here at home about that ruling. She's in our newsroom with how it's impacting the Wabash Valley. Well, John Alia, that ruling ensures that individuals can't be fired or turned down for a job based off of their sexual orientation. Now, those who I spoke with right here in the Wabash Valley, they say this is an issue they shouldn't even have to talk about at this point. Now, in a ruling of six to three, the Supreme Court determined that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 applies to millions of gay and transgender workers in the United States. Now, to learn more about what this really means to those in the LGBTQ community, I spoke with Bonnie Wilson. She's been married to her wife for the last 10 years. Wilson says it's a victory for her community to be protected, but argues that no matter your sexual orientation or race, everyone should be treated with respect. You're hired to do a job, you're doing the job, that should be enough. Um, having to to be protected by the law because of who you are, that's just ludicrous to me. Now, I also spoke with another individual on this issue. If you'd like to learn about what he has to say, head over to our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jordan Kudish with News 10.